Wow, Sony has hiked the price of the PlayStation 5 in Japan by a whopping 19%. Will these price hikes come to the US? Let's talk about it. I'm Blaze Okay, Hit the like, subscribe, click the bell icon. Let's get into the news. Before we get into it, I just want to thank all these people for making this video possible, our members. And if you want to join them, click join down below. You'll be helping me out a lot. Um, you'll get your name in every single video, every live stream. But don't worry if you don't want to or you can. That's okay. Hit like, subscribe, click the bell icon. But if you join, will I see your name on the list tomorrow? I'm so excited. Who's going to click join? If you click join, I'll, re I'll give you a shout on the next video. All right. I'll give you a shout out on the next video tomorrow. Okay. Let's get into the news. So Sony hikes um, the PlayStation 5 price in Japan by 19%. The price increase takes effect starting September 2nd. This article comes courtesy of Engadget, of course. Due to the challenging external environment, environment, Sony will increase the PS5's price in Japan by 19%. The new price of the standard PS5 model will be 79,980 yen, and that's about $550, or 554 to be exact, and will come into effect by September 2nd, 2024. Prices for the console in other countries are not affected, thank God, because they know Americans won't stand for it, right? Um, the Japanese um, also, they also remarked that the challenging economic decisions led to this difficult decision without getting into specifics specifics the console isn't the only product about to cost more as accessories like the dual sense um controller the playstation vr2 are also experiencing price hikes um that's a little bit weird oh, okay oh the dual sense is going up in price the psvr2 is going up in price oh well in that case might as well up, up the playstation 5 price as well then huh no <laughs> What happened to the PSVR 2 going on sale? It was flying off store shelves just not long ago because it, they give it a massive cut in the US at least. And um, people were just buying them buying them by the dozen for their PCs, for the PS5s. And um, I kind of want a PSVR 2. I really do. Anyways, back onto the news. So a price hike this late into the console's life um, life cycle is rather unusual, and Sony's expecting fewer PS5 sales for the fiscal 2025 year, but despite that slowdown, the PS5 has reached 50 million sales and is outselling the Xbox Series X and S by a wide margin. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Xbox is just doing, are doing Xbox fans dirty right now. I, like, Xbox is releasing their exclusives on PS5. Games like Black Myth Wukong are delayed on Xbox because of technical issues let's be honest it was because the developers who are making black myth wukon couldn't get the game running at a smooth frame rate on the xbox series s and if you don't know you know now the xbox basically the one rule that they have that is like rock hard or rock solid that's non-negotiable is the fact that all games that release on xbox must be able to run on xbox series s the lower end xbox and the higher end xbox series x so it's not a problem with the series x per se it's really the series s and they're pulling the whole game back because of that so yeah xbox fans are getting a little bit dirty right now um from xbox you know exclusives going to playstation game pass price hikes going up day one releases getting removed from the standard xbox game pass tier like xbox is just and blunder after blunder with their games halo infinite you know a lot of the big games that they're releasing just have issues and are controversial and are not living up to the hype whereas sony's are <laughs> and now that you can play xbox games on ps5 well why buy an xbox i think xbox are killing the xbox <laughs> Well, in terms of the console, right? Until, unless they make that new handheld we were talking about. So yeah, there are rumors that PS5 Pro will come out this fall. Well, it's not likely that the PS5 price, um, well, it's not likely why the PS5's price in Japan is increasing. It's still a potential factor in how Sony considers pricing the current model. Nevertheless, the PS5 Pro is still unconfirmed. I have a little reason, I have a theory as to why they've increased the price in Japan um, and why, <laughs> hopefully not, we get price increases in the US, hopefully not, last thing we need. But um, I have a feeling, and that has something to do with China. So stay tuned to my channel, click the subscribe, click the like on this video, and click the bell icon so you get notified, because I'm going to be doing a video on another news newsworthy event that um, that has been affecting <laughs> PS5 supply. Um, are we going to go back to PS5 scalping again? Is that going to be a thing? PS5 shortages. Am I going to have to start the PS5 restock and tracking stream? I might just have to, guys. <laughs> If it keeps going this way, if people keep buying PS5s at the rate they are, we'll talk about that in the next video, um, the PS5 restock stream coming back. Anyways, guys, let's get into the reactions from a lot of people who are, you know, 
They read this article too, and they're talking about this. So Logical Arm says, yo, what the F? This console's generation. Uh, this console generation. A generation of shills of people defending price increases and telling you to be grateful. Remember when console... Remember when consoles got cheaper through their life cycles? Safe Park reference. Um, when they increased the price of the PS5, did they increase it also in Japan? The article doesn't mention it. They increased it only in Japan. <laughs> Apparently, and from what the article says, the, the last time they'd had a price increase, the only country that wasn't affected was the US. So, hopefully we don't get a price hike with the PS5. Is this the first price hike for them, or the second one? Either way, it really sucks. Imagine it's 2020, the PS5 releases, and you think, maybe in five years, when they release a smaller version, maybe a Pro 1 too, it'll be cheaper, so I can afford it then. And instead, it goes up in price. I totally feel you, dude. Ravisoro, Ravisorio, I totally get you. Second time, dollar yen exchange. I'm assuming Nintendo's holding out Switch 2 for the same reason. Holy F, that's an insane increase. It was 59,000 yen at launch. I wanted to buy one at 68,000 yen, and now it's 79,000 yen. What the actual F? That's just inflation. It seems like that's just a story of 2024. Everything's going up 10%, 20%, 100%. Inflation, damn inflation. Damn the world, damn politics, damn the financial climate <laughs> everything's getting more expensive <laughs> guys please become a member please help me pay my rent please. i don't want to live under a bridge <laughs> um with the trolls uh, xbox did one as well ps5 sell below msrp in japan so it'll likely be less and i believe they were losing on the dual sense as well because those also sell for much less than msrp i still can't believe the price of the dual sense is as high as it is for a controller for a gamepad it's only got a touchpad and like couple of rumble motors in it i mean come on these things gotta be cheap there's no they must be making an insane markup on that dual sense surely it's just the value of the yen going down so much so the yens went down quite a lot japan is in a full-blown recession probably a true depression look at their debt gdp ratio 264 percent you know who comes in second venezuela venezuela has less debt than japan united states debt to gpd of 129 percent and we're funding wars and spending money beyond belief yet japan is just doing horrific japan has had to increase their interest rate 0.25 percent basis points Listen to the eco economist here. That was the prop up. Uh, that was to prop up the market a tiny bit. This is the worst they've been since 1992, and they owe much more than and they owe much more than back then. No more negative interest interest rates. And when here in the states in September, when we drop our interest rates, all hell will break loose. Japan first, then United States late September into early October. About a 15 percent drop in the stock market. Jeez, this guy's looking ahead. This guy must be a stock trader. Then the U.S. stock market late October, early November will rebound a tiny bit. But we are in a recession, also a very hard landing. Don't be lied to. Damn. Japan is failing. They dropped to the fourth largest economy. Germany passed them. One American dollar is $1.45 in Japan. So when they export now, they're only getting about 55 cents on the dollar, basically losing money or maybe a slight profit. Everything they import, they're paying 45 cents extra per dollar. We've all, that, that's all folks for your lesson in economics and the Japanese um, economy. Hopefully you learned something here today. Hopefully you've learned, hopefully you're hedging your bets, changing your stock options and get ready for the coming recession and the coming stock crash because Mr. MinutePath9803 has called it. There we go, guys. You learn something every day on this channel. Anyways, thank you for watching. Blazed and Blazed Okay. Hit like, subscribe, click the bell icon. I'd really appreciate it if you click join and become a member and help us get to a hundred thousand subscribers. That'd be really sick. And um, yeah, stick around for some gaming news. Hopefully you like me for my personality, my goofiness. You know, I know I'm just a drop in the ocean in terms of everyone else out there in terms of other youtubers but hopefully you stick around and just give me a watch every now and again remember covering news and stuff anyways guys have a wonderful day take care of yourself and go check out my channel ai or sorry pixel beats um pixel beats music on youtube um check it out subscribe if you want some great ai music i'm always releasing stuff every day so you'll find something that you'll like i'm sure of it and i um, yeah pixel beats on youtube go check it out anyways guys love you peace out see you in the next one bye